another day in paradise we're leaving this wonderful island and we're gonna try to get the main out the wind is blowing beautiful 12 knots so let's hope that the repair work feeling positive captain absolutely here goes nothing what could possibly go wrong Oh, look at that, like clockwork. The secret is to sneak up on it when it's least expecting you to pull it out, I think. Got to mind a bit tight sometimes. Find the first mate. That went really well. I'm impressed. It's going to be a good day. I can feel it. All right, just need to find out where to go now. That's the easy bit, though. The patch looks good, you can barely see it, so uh, hopefully the stitches will not pop open. So far so good, I'm really impressed. But as always, I'm catching myself before I declare an early victory, which seems to be our pattern recently. I really can't believe how much protection a few rows of palm trees on that island has given us from this wind. As soon as we come out from around the corner, uh, 22 knots. In the anchorage, less than 10. How does that work? They're very strong palm trees. I think we need a few on board. Reduce the wind a little bit. That anchorage was really good for four days. We really enjoyed our time there. But it started to get quite rolly. Now the wind has picked up outside. It's not the best shelter. So El Capitan over here is in search of a flat palm lagoon that he has spied on the charts. So it must exist. Twenty-two knots wind, and the main is holding just fine. We've done well. I'm declaring the early victory. Well, that's boundless closing in on us. I think it might be time to roll out the jib. What do you think? They think they can overtake us over my dead body. Looking good, boys! Oops, oops, somebody forgot to close the window. The race is on. Obviously, we let them go ahead. I best take that. It's point four. Hello, Pat. Can you hear how are you guys today? Slowly but surely, we are gaining on them. This is the Sunblast racing at its best. Well, of course, the race is on because we both happen to be moving in the same direction at the same time. And I think we're gaining. We're also managing to keep to windward of Boundless. So we've got the, uh, all the advantages up our sleeve at the moment. Everything to play for. It's always exciting to be racing with someone. No matter the result. But you know us. We don't lose well. Tony tells me we're not on track for a loss today. The captain's stitching is holding up just fine on the main. This is the best possible time to inspect the rigging while it's loaded up like crazy. All looks good. 
Barbie doll still attached? Still happy? Happy Barbie, happy crew. This is all quite new. Brand new rigging before we left California and I replaced all the fixtures and fittings and these chain plates less than a year ago. So it's all holding up really well. And of course, so is she, our lucky charm. I think it needs a little bit of attention from housekeeping though. I think she needs more than that. Hairdresser and makeup too. Or was he talking about the rigging? Definitely the rigging. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. I think I prefer her. <laughs> Hold on tight on the way back. <laughs> And here we go, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We've officially overtaken Boundless. Sorry, boys. It's all due to my trimming. That's for sure. Yes, if you haven't noticed, the first mate's been very trimmed this season and it's really paying off. We're super light. It's all the weight I've lost, you see. Just, I had to shed it off <laughs> so we can win some races. <laughs> Seriously, the abuse I get here. <laughs> Victimization of first degree. I never know when I'm going too far, but I'm always so glad when I do. <laughs> Pressure's on, they've taxed. What do we do now? Where's our tactics officer? You know how it goes in racing. You do exactly what they do. <laughs> I'm gonna see what angle they get on that tack and decide whether to copy them first. Captain's just one step behind. It's a bit windy for true paradise if I have to pick on something, but then at least he's happy about the sailing. Can't have it all, you see, can't have it all. I thought the first mate did have it all. First mate likes to have his cake and eat it, you see. I do like cake, got to admit, and best of all, eating it. Well, they call this anchorage the swimming pool, and it seems like we've entered at the shallow end, unfortunately. So uh, a bit of careful navigation for the captain. First mate's just practicing his swimming technique in our new infinity pool. The current in this anchorage is something crazy. <laughs> Best throw my line in case he gets too tired. This is all coming from the wave action against the reef in front of us. It's a really high swell day today, and every time a wave crashes over the reef, uh, which protects our anchorage, then it just brings a load more water into this little lagoon. And we're anchored right here in the pass out. Better hope the outboard is reliable today, otherwise there's no coming back. See you later. Welcome to paradise. Okay, this is officially the smallest island I have ever been on. Uh, I think we could walk around it in about seven minutes. Uh, so it's pretty cute. It's very well looked after, it's very clean, very lovely, and it has a bar as well. 
It's a bit windy today, but we really, really want to be filming this island with the drone. So uh, hopefully it's going to work. Hopefully the captain is going to screw it up and we lose the drone. Let's see, eh? Captain's praying to all his gods at the moment. All right, ready? Ready. Hold it nice and high and level. That's good. Oh, it's a bit windy. All right, you ready? Yeah. Off he goes. Happily reporting that the flight has survived. Here we are, ready for landing. There you go. Gonna live to fly another day. Got some great footage. Can't wait to watch that back. I think there's a bar here. If there is, it's time to hit it. No, Coco Loco Cerveza está bien. It wouldn't be a proper paradise without a bar. And it wouldn't be a proper paradise unless the first mate was waiting patiently at that bar for his drink. Uh, and it wouldn't be a paradise unless they weren't paying for it. <laughs> Thank you, Julian. It's his turn. <laughs> He's too good, too good. Don't believe a word he said. You know what these retired yacht brokers are like, right? <laughs> they say anything you want to hear. Have I got a boat for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got a beer for me. Love that noise. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers again. See, it's my turn now, so I'm gonna go. I have a nice way I haven't found a sugar daddy. It's empty. That wallet's <laughs> empty. <laughs> it's There's a... nothing in it. You better blow the cobwebs off that thing before you take it out in the bar. <laughs> I have a wallet. It's, a wallet. it's a picture of, what is it? It's, it's a picture of money. <laughs> <laughs> There's money. And uh, there isn't that many sugar daddies at the wide open sea, let me tell you that. I don't know what they mean, look. A lot of money there, a lot of money. Uno para ti también. Gracias. Sí, gracias. So last night I was gonna make a lovely risotto and uh, I found some living creatures living inside of the rice. Absolutely disgusting. There's like hundreds of them. It's rice devils. Uh, thank God that every time I buy pasta, rice, or even lentils, I always put them into airtight container. So if it is contaminated, it stays contaminated and it doesn't spread anywhere else on the boat. Uh, if there would be just a few of them, I probably wouldn't tell the captain and, you know, boil it up, more protein, eh? But uh, there's really a lot of beavers in this rice. So even I said, no way, I'm not cooking this. I quickly put some bay leaves in, uh, I thought it's gonna kill them, but then I read up and actually bay leaves are more of a deterrent. You are supposed to put the bay leaves into the rice or pasta or lentil when you are storing it so that the beavers don't go into it. But once they're in, they are in. So we're gonna give them a lovely send off in this beautiful turquoise water, windy anchorage. The Viking funeral. Let's hope it doesn't go all in the dinghy, eh? Actually, I'm gonna move properly. <laughs>
Then I'm a sort of song I should be singing. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. It's not going up to me now. Finally, we get some answers as to why the captain's breakfast risotto was delayed. Technical issues in the galley. There you go. Now I need to buy more rice. I'm actually super pleased how it's going in terms of insect on the boat. I mean, this is our fourth year of cruising now. And in the four years, we only had like a single incident, like one cockroach, which was dead. Uh, and then we had weevils, which were contaminated in a box. Uh, so nothing really crawling around the cupboards or under the floorboards. So I don't know. I mean, clearly, pat on the back for the first mate for the cleaning and hygiene on board, isn't it? See, all these years when the captain's been complaining that he couldn't even see his face in the mirror, he should have been counting himself lucky for the cleaning. I wonder if there's a level of grime that you can get to that just puts off all the little critters. I mean, even they have standards, right? <laughs> and you wonder why I am like I am. <laughs> because trust me, after 13 years of this, even the calmest and most relaxed person would turn into this. <laughs> uh, what would you say that is? <laughs> How would you describe this? The current state of affairs on Bohemia. <laughs> A four letter word comes to mind. <laughs> All right, better call it there before the captain gets some bay leaves in his eye. <laughs> I am off for a swim with the weevil. <laughs> well, there goes the breakfast risotto. Best turn my thoughts towards lunch, I think. Hopefully without any added protein this time. <laughs> Special thanks in this episode go to our latest patrons for keeping Bohemia's two pests safely contained on board. Thank you to Wendell from Seattle, who sails with the Olympic Yacht Club. Thank you so much, and here's to you. Champagne for everyone. <laughs> if you've been enjoying our episodes and want to fuel the first mate's bad behavior, follow the link on screen to find out more. See you next time. <laughs>